So this morning I'm outside, it's raining, it's a beautiful morning. I love the rain, I love sitting outside, well not in the rain, but listening to it and watching it. You know, in the mornings I get up and I spend time uh, drinking coffee and I'm alone. And I love the alone time. I, I love sitting alone and just listening to the quietness of the morning. But you know, the thing that people don't want is loneliness. They may want to be alone at times, but they don't want to feel loneliness. And the sad thing is, many people do. Elijah is a great prophet of God. He's defeated the priests of Baal. And then he goes running off to a cave and, well, he feels alone. He feels alone and he's crying out to God, where are you, Lord? Where are you, Lord? And, and, the, and God doesn't seem to show up. Every time Elijah runs out of the cave thinking it's God, thinking it's the thunder and that's God and the wind and that's God, it, it isn't. And finally, a still small voice comes and, and, and reveals himself to Elijah. And, and Elijah is, finds that he's not the only one serving God. He's one of many. He's not alone as he thought he was, that God opened up his eyes and saw, well, he saw God for himself. And he realized that God was there in the midst of his loneliness, God was there. You know, we need to find that same thing for ourselves and we need to find it for others. We need to help people discover that the God of all gods is there. He's a ever present in the times of trouble. And yet sometimes we don't feel that. Sometimes we feel like we're alone, but we're not alone. I don't know where you are or what you're going through today, but you may feel alone. I want to assure you that God never leaves you nor forsakes you. He's always there. He may not seem like he's there, but he's there. If you're not sure, ask him to reveal himself in a way that's special to you. I believe he'll do that. Hey, until next time, God bless.